In this lesson, we do some work on compass radial surveys. Example. A radial survey of a field ABCD is shown below. In part A, we need to find the size of each angle at O. So there's some angles at O there, four angles that we need to find. Okay, and those angles, to find them, we will need to look at the bearings. Okay, those bearings are remembering from the north. So we'll concentrate on those. So let's find this angle firstly. Basically, we're going from 0, 065 degree bearing to 143 degree bearing. So we find the difference, okay? We do a subtraction. We find then that that angle is 78 degrees. To find this angle, think about it, the direction, we're going from 143 degree bearing to a 278 degree bearing. So if we do a subtraction there, we get 135 degree difference. Same technique for the next one. We're going from 278 to 350, so let's subtract, we get 72 degrees. Now this one here, I've left this deliberately to last, okay, the northing splits it up. Okay, you'll find there's a couple of ways of doing this, but probably the easiest way is to think, well, one, two, three, those other three angles with the missing angle add up to 360 degrees. So we start with 360 and take away those three angles, we find that we're left with 75 degrees as our missing angle there. Terrific. Part B, find the area of triangle AOB. Triangle AOB, let's just concentrate on that. AOB, all right, let's complete the triangle there. Let's just fade out the rest of the info so we can concentrate on what we're dealing with. So area equals half AB sine C. So that's the area of a triangle where there's no right angle involved. So area equals half AB sine C. Let's put the half down. The AB are the two sides, the 34 and the 37. So let's multiply those two numbers. And then we've got sine C, which the angle is the C. So it's the sine of 78. When we calculate that, we get 615.2548. And often we'll round these off to the nearest whole number. So that rounds off to 615 square metres. And we round it off to the nearest square metre. Our next question, find the length of AD. So there's A, there's D, so let's draw a line there, and we'll mark that as X. In our working, we'll write that, let AD be X. We're going to be using the cos rule, which is A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. Now we've got to start with A squared, where we're going to use that as the X. So we'll have X squared equals, now the B squared and the C squared, they're the two sides, the 48 and the 34. So we need to square them and add them. And we've got minus 2BC. Okay, the B and the C are the 48 and 34 again. So minus 2 times 48 times 34. And finally, cos A, where A is the angle. So we multiply by the cos of 75. Now we calculate that. Works out to be this number here, 2615.2146. Now at this point, that's not the final answer because this is what X squared equals. So to find x, we take the square root. And once we do that, we therefore get x equals 51.1 metres. We've rounded that off to one decimal place. Excellent. Well, that concludes the lesson. Good luck with your questions.